All right, guys, Phil Drew here. A little more uh, fancier than usual, but um, just revealing what is going into the Z. As you can tell, still empty. But many people already guessed, and eh, it's not going to be a surprise at this point. So let me show you what I have in my garage. And there she is, a beautiful LS1. Um, LS1's making it around 350 wheel horsepower at the crank, so 15% loss brings me around 300. Um, but uh, just to, <laughs> financially, this is going to be the better choice. Uh, but let's give it a quick walk around. Let me do this. There we go. So we got this out of an 04 Pontiac GTO. It's an automatic, so we got to take that off. But we also got the 4L60E, I believe, transmission. I'm not a car guy, so I don't know parts. But <laughs> we got the motor. And as you can tell, I got a little excited already. And we started tearing down. We have the headers over there and the motor mounts. The harness was cut, so the harness is kind of useless at this point. Uh, over there. Got my coil packs right there. That starter is actually for the VQ. So my goal is to get the flux plate and the um, converter off. And then we should be good to start tearing down the, uh, the front side of this. Um, if I bring you guys closer without killing myself with the GoPro thing, not GoPro, camera mount. Uh, we can see this is the front of the engine. Uh, we got some side plate here. So I'm going to replace this pulley. Uh, this is the tensioner pulley, I believe. Um, and then below, I also removed the AC compressor. And so I will take away that lovely sounding uh, pulley this one and down here is the uh, I don't remember what that one is it's probably just another idler pulley but then we got the water pump here nice bell um, probably going to change the whole water pump system well not what system but uh, water pump itself um, a bit rusty harmonic balance here right here um, may change that as well just so we get the front looking all nice uh the uh, other idler pulley here doesn't have any play but uh you know if i can find one for cheap i'll uh, replace that and then the alternator i'm probably going to change out uh because it is a uh one the car has been sitting outside for a while um and i also hear some crunch sometimes when I do this. I'm not sure if that's normal. But yeah, we're just gonna start prepping the motor. I'm still waiting for a flywheel. So we'll tear off the front, get everything cleaned up, and look for some supplementary parts. So that's really it. She's ready. She's ready to be put in. And I believe this is a returnless fuel system if i'm wrong please let me know but this has a cap on it so i don't know what this is and it's a schrader valve interesting i don't know i'm gonna ask some people if anyone knows i would surely appreciate it but yeah ls1 from a 04 pontiac gto which uh this has 241 heads i don't know what cam is in it i believe this is an ls6 intake I feel like I'm a Chevy guy now, <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to tear it on the front. And then once we tear it on the front, I can change all the, the front main seal. I'll do the same for the back with the rear main seal. And there's like a oil, um, like this little barbell little piece from factory is like plastic. So we're going to change that to aluminum. And what that does, it, um, it reroutes the oil to uh, 
to the oil filter. Uh, without that, it would just go straight without filtering any oil. So yeah, we'll do that and uh, we'll have fun with it. And because it's been sitting, I'm gonna take these spark plugs out and uh, put some automatic transmission fluid and rotate the, the crank by hand uh, just so things don't get locked up. But yeah, that is pretty much the engine that's going in the Z. Who would have thought, right? But uh, my my main thing is uh, this has been done by drifters and drag guys for years, and the whole kit is bolted. Fabricating-wise, there's like three things I need to do. The windage tray, I got to do some clearing for the oil pump. One of the boss, like, uh, side uh of like actually it's right here um I can get to it this is where the starter is but this little nub here i gotta shave down to um have clearance for the new starter that will um work because the adapter plate kind of offsets things um so windage tray the boss oh and in my engine bay this little hump here so this is the firewall this is like a faux firewall this is literally nothing back there um maybe some brake lines that you would have to be careful of but there's space to be hammered out and that's just clearance for the heads there and that's really all the fabrication that you need and everything else is bolted so that is it i'm going to be Tearing this thing down, and if I find anything, I'll make a video about it. See you guys.